Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how to install and run LanguageForge using Vagrant and VirtualBox. The first step is to go to virtualbox.org, click the big download button, and download the version for Windows hosts. Download and install that and then go to vagrantup.com, click on download, and choose the Windows installer. Once you have that installed, Go to github.com slash silstudentprojects slash weblanguageforge. There should be a link to this file underneath the video. And go ahead and view the file raw. Right click and choose save as. And here you want to go to the drive C, users, and your username. Then create a source directory, src, and within that create a project directory. In this case, I'll use the name um, about Taylor Projects. And then go there and save it as a Vagrant file. Okay. Next thing to do is to open up a command prompt. You can do this by searching the start menu for CMD. So once you have it open, um, type CD SRC or whatever you named your folder and then CD Taylor Projects. So now we're in Taylor Projects and by typing dir we see what files there are. And you'll notice that vagrant file has become vagrant file.txt which is going to cause problems. Windows automatically added the .txt, so we're going to rename it. So ren is the rename command, space vagrant file.txt, and change that to vagrant file. And now if we type dir, you'll see the name has been changed to just plain vagrant file. Now type vagrant up and press enter and Vagrant will um, provision a new virtual box and install everything needed to run LanguageForge. This process will take quite a while, just um, make sure there aren't any errors you can um, do something else while you wait and at the end it will show a short summary so if there are any errors you'll know if you have missed them. Do note that the output is sped up quite a lot in some places and in reality you may see no output for quite a while especially when it's installing something. After a while, another window should open, which will be VirtualBox, um, running the guest operating system, which is Linux. And this window will um, have a login prompt. You don't need to log in. Um, there's a, it's possible to get your mouse stuck inside this window. If that happens, press the right control key on your keyboard and I'll demonstrate that for you. Right now my mouse is stuck inside and right control and it's back. So is it right here in the bottom right corner? Stuck and back. Okay. We can dismiss these messages and you'll see there's an Ubuntu login shell. The password, it, the username is Vagrant and the password is also Vagrant, I believe. However, you don't need to log in. So back to the terminal, you can see it's still working.
Now you may run into this error, which says the SSH command responded with a non-zero exit status. Vagrant assumes that this means the command failed. The output for this command should be in the log above. Um, you'll notice this is um, showing that 16 tasks succeeded and um, one of them failed. So if we scroll up, we will be told which task failed. So there's a ton, a huge dump of text. Scroll up and you'll see task install packages failed. And essentially, it just timed out because there are so many packages to install. Um, so if we scroll back down now, Just type vagrant provision, and vagrant will go back and start again, but it will see that it's already performed most of these tasks, and will quickly skip over them and continue, continue where it left off, installing more packages. If you run into this multiple times, just um, verify that it is um, the installing packages that's not working and that it's timing out and you can keep running vagrant provision as many times as needed um, and it should get farther each time. So here you'll see it's going back through things it's already done and noticing that it's done and just skipping over them. And now we're back to the install packages task. Now if you look at your output you, here, you'll see the play recap says OK equals 53, changed equals 28, unreachable equals 0, failed equals 0. So we, we know none failed, it was successful. And um, we now have Language Forge running on Windows using VirtualBox. We just need to do one more thing in order to actually be able to view it in the browser. So open the start menu and search for CMD, that's the command prompt, right click and choose run as administrator. And you'll be asked if you want to run it as an administrator, click yes, sorry the screen's black, we can't easily take a screenshot of that. So you have an administrative command prompt open, Let's switch over to that one. and type cd drivers and then cd etc now in that directory and type notepad hosts press enter okay now we have notepad editing our hosts file and see this line at the bottom here with the ip address you need to add this line i've already edited my hosts file so it's 192.168.33.10 that is the ip address of our virtual box 
or using languageforge.loco local as the domain name that we're going to use. So you can go ahead and close Notepad, and you can also close the terminal now, or we'll just go straight to Chrome, open a new tab, and go to languageforge.local. And it opens up. If we go to, you can scroll through and everything loaded fine. If you go to sign up, you can make sure that page is working fine. Um, it uses some underlying parts of the system not used by the home page. So, so now we can go to the login and the default username and password is admin and password for the one account that's already on the system when you install. So you can log in. And since it's just a local account, we'll let it see the password. And there we have it. Language Forge running on Windows using VirtualBox and Vagrant. Thanks for watching.